Hey guys, so um, the last week I turned 18, um, and this brought some mixed emotions, if I'm going to be honest. Um, the main one is confusion, uh, there's hope, there's uh, sadness, there's fear. By the way, my birthday was also the same week that Trump was elected, so um, that's probably why I'm feeling these ways. <laughs> probably not because I'm 18, to be honest. Um, I decided today that I should do an 18 things I learned in 18 years. It's going to be kind of satirical <laughs> because I feel like I and everyone else might need just to fuck around a little bit. Um, things are getting real real and if we're going to get vaporized, I'd really rather my video be funny than inspirational, because who needs inspiration right now? <laughs> Not me. The first thing I learned was always be yourself. Unless you can be me, then be me. The second thing I learned was children's laughter really is the most beautiful thing on earth. Unless you're home alone, you hear it, and you don't have kids. My third lesson is that friends are the most important thing on earth besides the right to bear arms, apparently. Number four is you can't just go around sexually assaulting people unless you have a prank channel or you're a presidential candidate. Number five is dogs are like God's way of apologizing for the floods. Number six is a recent learn for me. Um, demisexual is not a sexuality, mind blown. Number seven is if you don't have anything smart to say, don't say anything at all, Trump. Number eight is a really close one to my heart, and it's if someone's saying some dumb shit, just smile through the pain. Number nine is accept defeat and Rick roll with the punches. Number 10 is there's always a group project asshole. The person who doesn't do any work and takes all the credit. If you don't know who that is, it's probably you. Number 11, I think, is just like a good one across the board. You really don't want your last words to be goodbye. You want them to be interesting. Like, I see them, they're coming. It'll be really funny, don't worry about it. Number 12 is friends will come and go, but herpes, herpes is forever. Number 13 is sometimes it's okay to judge a book by its cover. Keep, keep going, keep going. Okay, we're done. Number 14 is always take pictures, unless you're in the cinema, because that shit's fucking annoying. Heads up, nobody fucking cares that you're watching Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Are you proud of me? Because that's a fucking hard title to say. Number 15 is anybody who actually knows how to fold a fitted sheet is a witch and should be burned. Number 16 is if you have a voice, if you have a microphone, you should always use it and use it to make the world a better place. Unless it's off brand. Then you can pretend it's not happening. Did you get a dog? That's cool. Number 17, and it's probably my most important one, is there is always going to be people that want to tear me down. The joke's on them, because I'm already trash. Number 18 is that there is no easy way through love. It's gonna be hard, and it's gonna make you wanna cry, and it's gonna make you wanna crawl up in a bowl and die sometimes, but if at the end of it, you get to spend your life with someone that you really, truly love, then it's worth it. Okay, well that ended on a really somber note, so like, let's not. <laughs> okay, I think, I think that's my lessons. Don't forget to leave down in the comments what your lessons have been and how old you are. I'm really interested to see how old you are because the Google Analytics are sometimes wrong on the age thing. And apparently I'm most popular with like 20 to 30 year olds. Fucked if I know. Okay, well, um, this got awkward. Okay, bye. My second one is children's laughter really is the most beautiful thing on earth, unless you're home alone. Creepy.